Praise the Lord. I'm going to read um, Psalms 23 tonight. Um, the name of this, this message tonight is going to be Keep Moving On. Keep Moving On in Jesus. And don't let nothing stop you from moving forward in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Psalms 23 is a chapter that is known by many people, I'm sure. And some of us can quote it from word to word without even looking at the, the chapter. But it's always good to keep the Word of God before our eyes. Amen. Because it keeps it in our memory. It keeps us, it keeps it in our minds. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So I'm going to read Psalms 23. I'm going to read it from the New International Version. It says, The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right path for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over, or my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy, surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. And we would dwell, and I would dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Praise the Lord. We see the first verse where it says, The Lord is your shepherd. You shall not lack anything. Praise the Lord. We know the Lord, when, when He is our shepherd, He takes care of His children. <coughs> he takes care of the children of God. And He said, Because He is our shepherd, we lack nothing. So we can always trust that the Lord is with us, and He will take care of us. As we lean and look forward, look to the leading of, of the Lord to um, help us. Praise the Lord. We don't have to fear because the Lord is with us and He and He also knows the truth of all things. So all we have to do is trust what His Word says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. With own understanding. It says trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. That's in Proverbs, the book of Proverbs that, that is found. So we just need to understand that it's very important for us to trust the Lord at all times <coughs> in everything. Because he knows everything. He knows all things. So when we know God knows all things, we know he's a just God. So all we have to do is trust the Lord and know that he is with us and he will help us. The verse, first verse says, the Lord is my shepherd. I like nothing. He, and then what does he do in the second verse? He makes you to lie down in green pastures. He leads you beside quiet waters. He refreshes your soul, your soul, your mind, your emotion. He refreshes your soul. He brings peace to your mind. So when we when we put everything in God's hand, He brings peace to our soul. Amen. Praise the Lord. And then verse 3, He said, He guides us along the right paths for His name's sake. So when you, you're trusting the Lord and knowing who the Lord is and knowing that you lack nothing because He is your shepherd, He will lead you in the right way. For his name's sake, he will lead you in, in a path of righteousness. He will lead you down the right path. He will lead you in the way that you should go as a child of God. Amen. It doesn't mean that mistakes are not going to be made along the, along the way, but we need to repent from a pure heart and keep moving forward. We don't let nothing stop us. Praise the Lord. Nothing stop us. So I'm going to read verse four. <coughs> it says, even though. I walk through the darkest valley. I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. So even when you're walking through the darkest valley of your life, you don't have to fear no evil because he said he's with you. His rod and his staff, they comfort you. So knowing that, that he's with you even in, in, in the lowest, but he's with you even when the times are good and when the times are not good, praise the Lord. So all we got to do is trust the Lord and keep moving forward. Amen. We don't let nothing stop us. Nothing stop us. We have to move forward in Jesus, knowing that he's with us at all times. Praise the Lord. So it's, it's a good comfort, comforting um, chapter to read. Praise the Lord. Verse 5, he, he repairs a table before you in the presence of your en enemies. He anoints your head with oil. Your cup ro runs over, overflows. So when, when, when the Lord repairs a table in the presence of our enemies, he will anoint your head with oil and your cup will overflow. He will, he will give you an abundance of what it is you have need of. He will anoint you with your head with oil. His anointing will be upon you right in the presence of your enemy. He said he prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies. <coughs> so your enemies may be looking onward, but God will prepare 
a table before you in the presence of your enemies. So all you have to do is trust God. Trust Him in everything. And like I said before, the title of this message is Keep Moving On. So that's what you got to do. Keep moving on. And he says, I can do all things. It's in the New Testament. Uh, chapter is in the um, Philippine uh, chapter where he says, I can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens me. So he would give you the strength to move forward. Um, verse 6 says, Surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. And I would dwell in the house of the Lord forever. So we can know, and this is a scripture that I would quote a lot. Surely goodness and love would follow me or my family all the days of our life. And we would dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Personalize that scripture. Surely goodness and love would follow me all the days of my life. And I would dwell in the house of the Lord, of, of the Lord forever. And I believe it's in the uh, new King James Version where he says, Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Praise the Lord. So, we have goodness <coughs> and mercy following us all the days of our lives. So, all we got to do is trust the Lord. Amen. Trust Him, knowing that He's with us at all times. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Verse 12 of um, Psalms 5, I'm going to read that. Surely the Lord, you bless the righteous. You surround them with favor as with a shield. So when you live a righteous life before God, He will He will bless you, and He and He will surround you with favor, as a shield. Praise the Lord. So all we have to do is trust the Lord and knowing that He will surround us with favor as a shield, favor that He will give you. Amen. And we thank the Lord for favor in every area of our lives, um, our our, our um, spiritual life. Our financial life, our social life, our our um, all, everything that had to do with your life, He will surround you as a shield with favor. I've even seen, praise the Lord, in situations where it didn't look good, but then um, it came back another way. Things were turned around. See, God knows the truth of everything, <coughs> and He knows everything that's going on. So when God knows the truth of everything, He knows that your heart is right before Him. He will surround you as a shield with favor. Amen. And it's not because you always deserve the favor, but when you come to the Lord with a sincere heart and you come with repentance in your heart and you mean it from your heart, He will surround you with favor because God is a merciful God and He is a loving God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So we just always got to make sure that our hearts are right before God at all times because it pays off. It pays off. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So we just trust the Lord tonight. We thank Him for His goodness. And we thank Him for His mercies. And if you have need of in your um, need of healing in your body, I'm going to read Psalms 103. So it says Psalms um, 23, verse 1. It says, "The Lord is your shepherd; you lack any, you shall not lack." Praise the Lord. If you have you need healing within your body. You will not lack healing because the Lord takes care of his children. I'm going to read Psalms 103. Praise the Lord. And I'm going to go down to verse 5. It said, Praise the Lord, my soul. Praise the Lord, my soul. All my innermost being, praise his holy name. Praise the Lord, my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your sons and heals all your diseases. So praise God. He will... He, he, his benefits are he will forgive you of all your sins and he heals you of all your diseases who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion who satisfies your desires with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles so we thank God that he is a merciful God amen and when, we, and when he talks about the benefits he said who, <coughs> he said praise the Lord I'm going to read it again praise the Lord my soul all my innermost being praise his holy name. Praise the Lord my soul and forget not all his benefits. And he told us not to forget his benefits. Who forgive us all our sons and heals us, heals us of all our diseases. Who redeems our life from the pit and crowns us with love and compassion. Who satisfy our desires with good things so that our youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord works righteousness and justice for all the oppressed. Praise the Lord. In verse 6 says the Lord works righteousness 
and justice for all the oppressed. Praise the Lord. So we thank the Lord <clears throat> that his benefits includes forgiveness of sins and, and healing us. Praise the Lord. And crowning us with his love and compassion who satisfies our desire with good things so that our youth is renewed like the eagles. So we know that God, have, the Lord has benefit for us and we thank the Lord for the benefits. Amen. And when we come to him with, with a sincere, <coughs> pure heart, coming to him with the truth, God will protect his children. Amen. So we just thank the Lord for his goodness and his mercies. We thank the Lord for his forgiveness. In Jesus' name. And we know God is a righteous God. Verse 6 says, The Lord works righteousness and justice for all the oppressed. So God, he, he's, he's a Lord that works righteousness. He works in rightness, righteousness. And is justice for all the oppressed. <coughs> all the oppressed. Praise the Lord. So we, we just know we got to trust the Lord and know that God is a merciful God. And he's good. And he's good all, all the time. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm going to read, read verse 7. He made known his ways to Moses, his deeds to the people of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in love. He will not always accuse, nor will he harbor his anger forever. He does not treat us as, as our sin deserves or repay us according to our iniquities. So verse, verse 9 says, um, praise the Lord. I'm going to read this again. Verse 10, I'm sorry. He does not treat us as our sins deserve or repay us according to our iniquity. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his love for those who fear him. As far as, as the east is from the west, so far he has removed our transgression from him. Praise the Lord. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. For he knows how we are formed. He remembers that we are thus. The life of the, the mortals is like a grass. Is like grass. They flourish like a flower of the field. The wind blows over it and over it and it is gone. And it plays and its place remembers it no more. But 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 from the everlasting to everlasting the Lord's love is with those who fear him and his righteousness with his, with their children's children with those who keep his covenant and remembers to obey his precepts. The Lord had established his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Praise the Lord, you his angels, you mighty ones who do his bidding, who obey his word. Praise the Lord, all his heavenly hosts, you his servants who do his will. Praise the Lord, all his works. Everywhere is, everywhere in his dominion. Praise the Lord, my soul. Praise the Lord. So we know Psalms 03 talks about God's mercies, his benefits, and, and he's with his children. Amen. So when we come to the Lord, come to him with a pure heart and with truth. Because it matters. It matters what the truth is. And we thank the, thank the Lord that he's a just God. We thank the Lord for his goodness and, and his mercy. We thank the Lord for for all he, he has done and all that he's doing. And we thank the Lord that we have victory through Christ Jesus. So we have nothing to fear but trust the Lord. Amen. So I just wanted to to encourage you tonight to um, continue in the things of the Lord and to continue to go through. Do not give up. Know that the Lord is with you. Amen. And, and he knows the truth of all things. So we thank the Lord for victory tonight. We thank the Lord for what he's done and what he is doing. We thank the Lord that he stands for, for righteousness, for what is right before him. And we thank the Lord for justice. So we and, and then even like with our enemies, we can pray for them that the Lord have mercy upon them and realize that it is truth what God works with. He doesn't work with lies. He doesn't work with untruth. He doesn't work with things that are not of God or, or ways that are not in the ways of the Lord. So we just thank the Lord for having mercy upon us. But also we can pray for our enemies that the Lord send labors across their pathway that they may hear and change. And, and turn to the ways of the Lord because God is a just God and he have no respect to person. He have no respect to person. We all must come to him right. Amen. So we just thank the Lord for victory tonight. We thank the Lord for being merciful to us tonight. And I just want to say God bless you and have a blessed night. I'm going to pray also the uh, prayer of salvation for those who need who have who are in need of Jesus. If you don't have Jesus as your Savior, need him. And for those who have been following but have big back backslide 
maybe something happened in their lives and they back slid on the Lord and, and they're not following in the ways of the Lord. I'm going to pray with you tonight. So Heavenly Father, we come to you in Jesus name. We ask you to forgive us our sins, to forgive us all the wrong things we did, even said or done. We thank you, Heavenly Father, that we believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and that he died on the cross and he rose again on the third day and that and, and he brought salvation to the world through Jesus Christ. We have salvation through Jesus Christ. We thank you that Jesus is the way, he is the truth, and he is the life. Lord, we thank you for salvation tonight. We thank you for the ones who received their salvation tonight. We thank you for the Holy Spirit. We ask the Holy Spirit to come and comfort us and to lead, lead us and guide us. And Lord, we thank you for the Holy Spirit and his leading in our lives. Tonight, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you.